pray every day in order to attend to your spirit every now and then. I run into somebody that I haven't seen in church in a while, and I try to stay close to you as close as I can. And sometimes the members are surprised to know that I, I know who they are and that I recognize them. And I'll bump into somebody and I'll say, I haven't seen you in a while, they're ducking and hiding. <laughs> and they always say almost the same thing to a person. Reverend, I, I'm coming back to church, but you don't understand, I've been going through something. What I want to say to you, those of you who are babes, especially in Christ, that when you are going through something, that's when you need to be close to the fire. <laughs> Am I right about it? Because if you find yourself out there disconnected from the family of faith, that's when the wolf that is the adversary will have you for lunch. And sometimes people don't come to church because they feel too guilty to come to church. I want you to know that it doesn't matter how many times you fell down this week, come Sunday morning, you ought to brush yourself off and make your way to the house of God. Why? Because God's house is not a museum for saints. God's house is a hospital for sinners. And every sinner has a future. And every saint has a past. I don't believe you heard me. Every saint has a past. And every sinner has a future. And so you ought not allow anybody to look down on you. They may not be making the same mistakes that you've made, but everybody is falling. We fall down, but we get back up because a saint is just a sinner who fell down. <laughs> 